in your daily life also you must have observed the refraction of light but maybe at that time you don't know that this is called as the refraction of light or whatever we are watching is due to the refraction of light the first whenever you are going on long drive through car a tar road is there at a long distance what happens in the daylight in the afternoon what happens air is hot your tar road is very hot and what happens the air if this is your tar road and if this your car is passing here what happens at a distance the air here is hot okay and air above is little bit cooler than this air or here the air is little bit cooler you are watching it like this right this is the first condition the second condition you must have observed at the time of holy okay it's all burning okay all burning of holy is there and what happens the air in the vicinity is very hot with compared to the surrounding air okay if you are standing on the opposite side of the holy what you see or from the car what you see the things at a distance or things on the opposite sides are flattering okay you feel like they are moving they are vibrating it appears that is called as a mirage that is called as mirage actually they are not vibrating or they are not moving at all or they are not shaking at all they just appear to be shaking appear to be moving why why it happens simple thing this air is hot and this air is little bit cold than this air so definitely the density changes the density of hot air is always less than the density of cold air because hot air is a thinner air and the cold air is a thicker air so whenever the light rays are passing what is happening they are changing the medium when they are changing the medium the light ray deviates the path of the light ray deviates and you think those are shifting but why don't why you see shaking because this is not stable this hot air is not stable continuously the waves of hot air are going now in case of holy also as the flames are going here and there the air surrounding is also vibrating okay it's a moving that air is moving so constantly the angles are changing the refraction is happening continuously and that is why means suppose the air is here at this place second instance it is here if air is like this what will happen the rays passing will also deviates like this and then you will see that particular object is shaking that means whenever the light rays coming from the distance it is changing the media that is from cold air to hot air or hot air to cold air and if it is happening continuously then you will feel that it is shifting now this is comparatively very very small even even you are watching from 1 km 2 km away this distance is not very big distance so that is why you feel that they are shaking on the larger scale on the larger distance this is the effect the refraction of light is responsible for twinkling of stars twinkling of stars this refraction of light is responsible let us see how it is responsible mind well the stars are at a very very large distance very very far away from us the distance from earth to our nearest star is around 4.3 light years that is alpha century what do you mean by light year it is the distance travel by light in one year that distance is called as light year mind well 
the speed of light is around 3 lakh kilometers per hour and when the light is traveling for one year you can just imagine how much distance it is covering so stars are far away from us the distance is measured in light years and that is why the stars are always considered as a point source of light let us consider this is where you are standing ground level a man is standing here you know that there is atmosphere around us earth atmosphere is as you go on higher and higher in the atmosphere as you go on higher and higher the air gets thinner and thinner thinner the density of air is less and less as you go higher that is why you must have observed the trekkers high altitude trekkers like the people who trek on the mount everest they always carry the oxygen cylinders with them why because air is very thin there sufficient oxygen is not available so as you go up and up the density of the air goes on decreasing okay whenever the light ray is coming from that particular star what will happen the light is entering from thinner medium to thicker medium right from thinner medium because outside the earth atmosphere is not there air is not there it's a vacuum so from thinner medium to thicker medium and from thinner medium to thicker medium it always bends towards you so though it is the bending path and you will appear the appearance position of the star is somewhere here so this is the apparent position but actually the star is here you will see this star slightly above its actual position okay but now why it is twinkling whenever the atmosphere this atmosphere is not stable at all the density of the air at particular place at a particular point in the atmosphere in the particular layer of the atmosphere is never constant it is always changing due to the temperature wind factors and many many other factors are there which are acting on the atmosphere and this atmosphere it not is not stable at all so the density of the atmosphere at particular place is always changing so when the density is changing and the light rays are entering from thinner medium to thicker medium what will happen the refractive index of that particular medium or at that point will be different so the light rays sometimes light rays will deviate more sometimes the light rays will deviate less so if the light rays are deviated or refracted more towards you you will see the bright light and if that refraction is less is away from you or it is less deviated towards you then you will see the dim light and since this is fluctuating you will see the bright and dim bright and dim that is what we call as a twinkling of stars now if stars are twinkling why not planets because of the distance the star are far away from us than planets planets are near to us near to earth than the stars so when star is considered as a point source point source of light when the star is considered as a point source of light planet is not considered as a point source of light planet is considered as a collection of the points of the light so that is why since the planets are near to us with respect to stars the planet never twinkle and a star always twinkles then actually what happen in case of planets very simple 
this is star is considered as a point source of light whereas planet is considered as a collection of point source of lights okay so what will happen different light rays are coming from each point source of light so maybe if one point is dimmer the another points are brighter or the uh, some points are dimmer some points are brighter always and that is why ultimately we don't see any change in brightness of the planet so we feel that the planets are stationary and they are not stationary means they are not twinkling the light source is constant but actually it is considered as a collection of the points of light source and that is why the planets do not twinkle and stars only twinkle planets do not twinkle but stars twinkles